This is the Olkaria Geothermal Facility in Naivasha, in Kenya's second smallest national park, Hell's Gate. Olkaria produces 280 megawatts of geothermal power, enough to serve the needs of 500,000 homes. Kenya Electricity Generating Company, Kengen, has embarked on the expansion of Kenya's largest geothermal project as the country moves to initiate green energy projects. The additional phases will add 350 megawatts to the national grid, a move generally welcomed by most Kenyans. Some locals are upset about the facility's location. For the past six years, 30-year-old John Ndirangu has been a guide in Naivasha, taking tourists by boat on the lake in this area. He used to earn around $800 a month, but says the drilling to harness the geothermal power has cut tourism and had other negative consequences. Firstly, because the animal migration has been affected, the placement of the equipment, the drilling of the equipment does that. Secondly, human health is affected due to emissions of hydrogen sulfide, sulfur dioxide. And thirdly, the disturbance from the noise uh, from the drilling wells. Hell's Gate National Park is home to a variety of wildlife, including more than a hundred species of You're birds, right. some on the endangered list. Conservationist Sarah Higgins, who is also an honorary warden of the Kenya Wildlife <laughs> Service, runs the Naivasha Owl Center, which rescues That's and rehabilitates nice birds of prey. This is his Most of the place. birds here were Isn't injured right? at the his geothermal plant built in their natural habitat. <laughs> For Higgins, the future of conservation in Kenya is at stake as energy companies roll out their new green power plants. From what I've seen, all the future um, sites that they are planning are all in conservation areas, within parks, within conservation areas, and also, unfortunately, also within migratory routes. This will cause huge damage to not only our wildlife, but also our tourism industry. Kenjan plans at least two more geothermal units in Okaria by June 2016. They are a small part of Kenya's blueprint to meet the country's energy needs by 2030, which are estimated at 17,000 megawatts. Lenny Ruvaga for VOA News, Nairobi, Kenya. Another quick break, and then when we get back, we're heading to South Africa for today's trivia question. Shh. <laughs>